Hey guys, Ogs here from the US. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all doing good. And this is just a quick update about Philip Coutinho. Yeah, Coutinho of old people. Remember him? He was uh, the beast in the Premier League once, you know, a couple seasons ago, remember? And he went to Barcelona and uh, it didn't work out with Messi. And he was loaned to Bundesliga giant Bayern Munich. And Bayern are not willing to sign him on permanent deal. And he will be back in Barcelona in few months from now. And reports are coming from Germany and Spain saying that Chelsea are in advance talk with uh, Philip Coutinho agent. And he could be switching to the bridge come next season well 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 it could be just paper talk because it's slow news at the moment with uh, all the coronavirus going on in the world at the moment and you have to find something to say but it could also have some legs because Frank Lampard is looking for somebody who can score goals okay who can shoot from distance and take some risks and we don't see anybody doing that at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. Yes, I know in the last uh, couple games, we've been really shooting, you know. We've seen uh, Ross Barkley trying a uh, long-range shoot that will always go to the Roses. And uh, also a few other players trying, but we don't really have like a specialist who can just bang from, I don't know, 60 yards out or something like that. We don't have, you know, those kind of uh, players at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. So, you know, it makes a little bit sense that we've been linked to Milenkovic Savic and, uh, and the other, you know, goal scorers. Because Frank Lampard want to have many players scoring goals. So, that makes a little bit sense, but hey... If the club decide to go for Coutinho, I will be behind that. But the question is, who is going to give in the place, you know? Because if you bring Coutinho, it's not to let him sit on the bench, right? He would want to have his number one spot at Chelsea Football Club. So who is going to be sacrificed in order to accommodate Philippe Coutinho? I don't know. Tammy Abraham? No, Tammy is number nine. Uh, Mason Mount? No, because Frank Lampard loves Tammy Ebra. Uh, so excuse me. Uh, Mason Mount for his pressing style. So it's just a little complicated to see where he will fit in the team. But all I want for my team is that we score a lot of goals and we win games. And everybody knows that 95% uh, of our losses this season been because we couldn't score goals. And we created so many chances. And Tammy Abraham, Olivier Giroud, or Michi Bachwai, or I don't know, Pulisic, or Manson Mount, or Callum Hastonadoy, they just decided to, to, to not score, basically. You know what I mean? basically okay so don't cut me on that i'm trying to to let you think a little bit outside the box here so if we had a very good finisher or you know players that can shoot from distance and score goals we were not going to be complaining about the defense and about kepa ariza balaga just think about it we always concede after missing tons of chances even including including the Bayern Munich game that we lost 3-0 in the second half how many chances we missed before they killed us you know they were clinical one goal two three and the game was over but before that everything was going to be different if we scored those one-on-one -on -one chances that we missed in the first half. Does that make sense to you? Anyways, let me know what you think about Philippe Coutinho. Would you like to see him at Chelsea Football Club? 
and why and what place he's going to to take you know uh, what player do you want to see out of the team in order to accommodate Philip Coutinho because remember Lo, uh, Ruben is coming back very soon and we know what Ruben can do I know they don't play exactly the same position but I think we have many players that can play in Coutinho's role but the problem is that they don't score and they don't have that long range shoot that can make the difference anyways guys this is just my opinion you don't have to agree with me and also you don't have to insult me you just need to leave your comment and let me know what you think about philip coutinho and many people will say he flopped at barcelona but hey just um, think about it when you get to the barcelona team you all have to work for messi and philip coutinho was played out of position and he was frustrated because he couldn't really do what he's capable of doing because of messi and how many players we've seen flopped at barcelona because of messi okay now antoine griezmann is struggling because of messi okay we've seen malcolm you know the guy he struggled at Barcelona because of Messi. So pretty much everybody needs to adapt to the King Messi and pretty much work for him. That is one of the biggest problems that Barcelona have at the moment. And um, in uh, in uh, Bayern, he's, he's doing okay. He's been scoring some, you know, few awesome golazos here and there but he've been on the bench most of the time because why because the coach is trying to think about the future so he's giving more chance to the player that will be there for long term instead of you know developing if i can say that coutinho who is going back to barcelona uh, very soon so for me if the price is right Maybe we should go for him. I don't know, but it's just a confusing one. Let me know, guys, what you think. Think outside the box and see you in the next one. I'm gonna get you one more time.